This program is dedicated to those that paid for their lives at the hands of the state. Hello and welcome to another segment of Silent Voices, the only program in America that you, the viewer, have your voice heard regarding the child welfare system. I am Dennis Lawrence and beside me is Maria Moline. Maria, you have a headline you want to share with us, don't you? Thanks, Dennis, and I'd like to welcome you all to the show. We ran across a couple of really interesting headlines this past few weeks. This one says, police confiscate healthy baby because it was born at home. This was in Pennsylvania. Now from Illinois, CPS removes Illinois baby because of home birth, um, which they considered medical neglect. They charge the parents with medical neglect. And this brings us to our next video clip we'd like to present to you. On the afternoon of April 9th, 2014, Duo they and his partner delivered their daughter in their Cary, North Carolina home. Five days later, a relative made a threat to call social services and report this home birth. On the sixth day, Child Protective Services agent knocked on their door with two police officers and a scene complete with a fleet of three squad cards and one detective vehicle. For months, Duad studied the home birth process, the anatomy of a pregnancy from start to finish. Neither believed that labor or delivery should happen in a facility caring for the sick, her, and the dying. So they rescheduled, researched the laws on home birth in North Carolina and upon finding out that unassisted childbirth is not illegal in that state, they decided that that option was best, the best way for them to have their baby. The morning before the CPS visit, the mother called a local holistic practitioner to set up an appointment for their child to be seen. The story begins and ends with two parents who face down their fears and CPS simultaneously to tell their story of courage, self-empowerment, and knowledge of the law. Let's watch to see how this couple handled when CPS came knocking on their door. To my door, yes. saying I broke a law. I didn't say you broke a law. Can I see your badge? Your badge is right here. Just, it matches the car. And I broke a law. I didn't say you broke a law. So are the, why are the police here? Again, for the fourth time, the police are here because of the fact, and I wish you get the camera out of my face. You're at my door. I know, but you don't. I would like yeah, to. I, 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 what, do you, what do you need? What do you need? What do you, what do you, what do you what need? Do you, what do you need done? Do you need, need to see the baby or not? I need to see the baby. Okay. He needs to see the child. I see he needs to see the child. All I you need gotta to make do sure. is verify. He wants to verify. Verify what? He's what? That the child, the child needs to go to the doctor also to be seen. That is what I'm telling you. What doctor? If not, it's child. What doctor? See, see, um, because the child. What hospital? What hospital? What hospital? You go to Western Wake? Did you ask me my religion? This is disrespectful. Did you ask me my religion? I didn't ask you. Did you ask me my beliefs? I didn't ask you. No, you just came to my door I making didn't threats. Do. I didn't make threats. Do I have a right to practice my religious beliefs? Do I have a right to do that in America? I'm asking yeah, you a question. So why are you at my door? Because I need to see the baby. You need to see whose baby? Your baby and Miss Stone's baby. For what reasons? Because of the fact that Are you a doctor? I'm not a doctor. So why do you need to see the baby? Because I'm with Child Protective Services. That's okay. Why I need to see the child. All right. Because it's a part of the job that I do. For who? Who are you? For who? Who are you doing this job for? Child Protective Services. For who? 
For who? For who? For Wake County. It's on my card. For who? So I, I'm a property of Wake County? Sir. No, I'm asking you a question. Am I a property of Wake no, County? So what do you, who are you doing the service for? I need to see the child because that's a part of my job. Who are you doing the service for? Am I a property of Wake County? I don't think you're a property of Wake County. Okay, so if I'm not a property of Wake County, what do you need to see my child for? I am responsible for my child, ain't I? But I still need to see that child. For what? Oh, you're not a doctor? You're right. So that's you're not a doctor? What law is that? Can you, know, you cite that law? You know. Can you cite that? You said because of the law. Right, because of the, They're the law. The child, Can the you child cite needs, the law? The child needs to be seen. Can the you? What law? What law is that? The child needs to be seen by a doctor. What law? You're at my door, right? Right. You're telling me what I have to do, right? What I'm Tell me the law. It's medical neglect. The child hasn't been seen. What is the law? Like I said, it's medical emergency based on the fact. What of is the, the statute? Child. What is the law? You know. You're just saying you, something off your right. off the you're top right. of your head. Right. I know I'm right. So my thing is. I know I'm right because you know why I'm right. You do you know why I'm right? Sure, you're gonna tell me. I, I don't need to tell. You're at my door, sir. I didn't come to you. I know you didn't. I need. To why see am the child. I right? I need to see the child. Actually, why am I right? Because I know the law. I need to see the child. I need to see the child. I don't care what you need. Okay. I'm not a property of Wake County, am I? Am I property? Am I state property? Sir, we need to see the child. You don't need to see anything because you're not a doctor. Which is why the child. Which is why what? what? You want to take me to court and, 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 and I produce my seen. documentations of what I've done? Do you yeah, want to do fine. that? All right, then. Then you set those procedures and you present me with some paperwork. You know. You, pres you come back and present me with some paperwork. I need to see the child. Lay eyes on the child. The child's fine. You present me with some paperwork. Come back with a warrant. Can we see the child? I spoke my piece, man. You're here talking about I'm breaking the law. I didn't and all. Say you yeah, yeah, the you law. knocked on my door. You brought the right, police. I need to see the child. You need to see whose child? Is it your child? Is it Wake County's child? Not Wake County's child. Or what's the law? The child. What's the law? I'm telling you, the child. No, you're you're seen. telling me. I want to know the what's the law. For you don't know when. Care. You don't well, that's, know. That's why I want you to don't talk know to anything. Find out. I want to find you out don't, what's going on. I, I, I don't want you to find out anything. I, I, I'm not. Who are you? My car says who I am. Who are you? Car says who I am. All right. Is the child here now? Or you, did you hear what I said? I'm asking, is the child here now? Is it with the mom? Did you hear what I said? I don't have any more questions to answer of yours. We spoke. Okay. You seem upset. No, I just need to see the child. Okay. My job. She's not here. Okay. Anything else? No, I'm just like, okay. No, okay. Child okay. Today. Okay. I need to see the child today. You don't need to see nothing. Okay. What about the paperwork for the child being seen? You said the child was seen. I'm not, I don't have to give you anything. Okay. Okay. Like I said, we do need to see the child. You have my information, but I will be back to see the child. Yeah, you come back with a warrant, because next time you come back to my door, it's not welcome. I'm not welcoming you here. I didn't well, call you. I'm not welcoming yeah, you here. Welcoming you. All right. All right. So what? Have All, I'm, right. Child you, services. All right. We have to see All the right. child. All right. When I'm breaking the law, the police will come to my door. You, I don't know who you are. Well, we need to see the child. I don't know who you are. I didn't contact you. You don't have to contact me. Sir. I don't have no contract with you. Okay. I, don't, I, don't, I don't. What are you talking about? Okay. Okay. Well, I need to see the child, and then when I come back... You can keep saying what you say. Will, it will be with the police again okay. to see the child. All right. Okay. Maria, I really liked the phrase he used. Did I break any laws? I think it's really interesting that in the video they couldn't even they couldn't even give any information on what he had done wrong and in the end did end up walking away because there was absolutely nothing that these parents did that was illegal and or immoral. Case in point, CPS has to get a warrant to enter your home. That reminds me of some CPS safety 
safety tips from Officer Friendly. Officer Friendly is brought to you by the good folks at Legally Kidnap. Let's take it away, LK. Baby's awake. Well, hello, baby LK. Did you have a good nap? I know what you need. A diaper change in a bottle. Oh, there's somebody at the door. I'll be right back. Hello? I am from Child Protective Services. We got a report of a crying baby. Um, he just woke up from his nap. I was just going to change his diaper and give him a bottle when the doorbell rang. What? Leaving that poor child alone to answer the door? What kind of a parent are you? Well, I'm doing my best. I must see the child at once. Let me in. Now. He's fine, but okay, come on in. <coughs> oh, hello, Officer Friendly. Ma'am. Would you let a predator into your house? Why, no, I wouldn't. Then what the heck are you letting her in for? Well, officer, I thought I had no choice in the matter. On the contrary, you do have rights. It's up to you to know and exercise them. You insignificant fool. She has no rights. I am from the all-powerful child protective industry, and I have spoken. Let me give you a few safety tips for dealing with them there social workers. Tip one. Keep your mouth shut. You have the right to remain silent. Should you give up the right to remain silent, anything you say can and will be twisted out of proportion and used against you in a court of law. I did not know that. Just stay calm, be polite, ask about the accusations against you, and offer her no information whatsoever. You fool. She still has to let me into the house. Tip 2. Has to see your search warrant. According to the Fourth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, you have the right to be secure in your person, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures, and they must obtain a warrant. CPS workers are trained to coerce and manipulate their way into your home, but no matter, they can't enter without your permission or a court order. And it's not uncommon for a worker to misrepresent a few toys on the floor or a couple of breakfast dishes in the sink as a messy house and you as an unfit parent. I will have her sign release. Pieces of information so I can talk to doctors, teachers, daycare providers, and shrinks. Tip 3. Sign nothing except upon the advice of an attorney. I certainly won't, Officer Friendly. Remember, she is there to gather evidence against you, and signing her papers such as service plans and releases of information are her way of getting you to admit guilt or getting your permission to get all the evidence she needs to snatch your kid. You idiot. She won't know what's coming. She will be lost in a sea of paperwork and bureaucracy. Tip 4. Document everything. Get yourself a notebook and write down the times, dates, and names of every person you talk to, every phone call you make, every appointment you go to, everything. Collect any paperwork that you get and keep it all organized by date. Doing this from the start will help you later on down the line if this goes any further. You imbecile. I can take that baby whenever I want. No, please don't take my baby. Tip 5. If at all possible, talk to a lawyer immediately. You fool. She doesn't need a lawyer. I'm here to help. Tip 6. Never, never, never trust a social worker who is there to investigate you. They will lie, twist your words, fabricate evidence, and forge documents. Now you just keep these tips in mind when she's here and everything will be okay. I certainly will, Officer Friendly. Thank you. You mark my words, Officer Friendly. I will have that child in my clutches by the end of the day. Now, now, there's no need for that sort of thing. Run along now, you hear? Let's go back and see how things should have been done from the beginning. <coughs> Oh, there's somebody at the door. I'll be right back. Hello? I am from Child Protective Services. We got a report of a crying baby. I understand and would be happy to cooperate. Can I please just see your warrant? Why, I don't have one. Well then, I'll have to consult with my attorney so we can meet at your office to discuss your false accusations, say, next week. Now, if you would please excuse me, I have a baby to attend to. Social workers lie and manipulate their way into homes so that they can steal children every day. But if you follow my CPS safety tips, you'll be a CPS safety whiz in no time.
It's always good to hear the safety tips over and over. I can't stress enough to our viewing audience of the importance of doing this right so you do not get tangled in the family court web. Maria? We have a new feature that we'll be bringing to you on a monthly basis, a commentary from our own Sally Borghese. Sally writes for Kent County Rapidian. Here is this month's edition of Paid to Steal Children, entitled, What If? In this edition of Paid to Steal Children, we will be discussing the what-if scenario of legally kidnapping children in America. What if someone told you that children can be taken away from their family? Would you think that has nothing to do with you? What if you heard about a child being taken from a family somewhere in your area? Would you think the family must have done something wrong? What if, it were, if there were no prosecution of the child's family? Would you wonder why someone is not being prosecuted for a crime? What if you found out that every day in the courthouses across America, this scenario takes place? Would you go to the courthouse and sit in a courtroom to watch for injustice? Would you even care or wonder if it could happen to you? So many people did not before it happened to them. Vladimir Lenin once stated that if you destroy the family, you destroy the country. So that statement is one that we should have already been acting upon. Child Protective Service professes to help children in need. To a small degree, that may be true, but there is another side to the work they do. CPS and its contracted agencies are nonprofit, yet there is a large federal funding stream that supports these agencies. It is not uncommon to have staff salaries in the six figures within these CPS contracted agencies. It would seem that the nonprofit agencies would have much lower salaries. After all, most people assume that the bulk of the nonprofit agency income would not be to pay large salaries but to support those that need assistance from the agency. CPS has become a business supporting over 25 various professions dealing with removing children from biological families. These professions include judges, court personnel, caseworkers, social workers, doctors, nurses, psychologists, psychiatrists, police, prosecutors, lawyers, guardian ad litems, CASA workers, adoption specialists, and the list goes on. All are being supported through the federal funding, and this includes the foster and adoptive families. The funding continues until the child is 18 and sometimes 21. Social Security Title IV provides federal funding to the states of our nation for each child removed from a family. In fact, there are yearly adoption quotas that states must meet in order to qualify for the funding. These quotas grow higher with passing years. In order to remain qualified for the funding, there must continuously be adoptions in higher numbers and that means there must be child removals from families. The adoptions increase when children are removed from families on allegations that something might possibly happen in the future or that an investigation has produced some type of neglect. Neglect can range in all directions such as dirty dishes in the sink, dirty clothes worn to school, laundry not done timely, or the need for assistance with utilities or rent, and the list goes on. The allegations become almost laughable in their scope, yet children are constantly removed and the families are never prosecuted because there is no crime. There is just a need for another child removal to increase the federal funding to the state. In America, 
Do we really have the tens of thousands of children who are being abused or neglected that our media tells us we do? So much is called neglect when it just may be poverty. It is stated that the CPS agencies find a better family for a child. Is that how we fix poverty? Not just the 500,000 children in foster care, but of that 500,000, about 100,000 have had their parental rights um, terminated because the state has decided that reunification is not possible in this case, that children would be harmed irreparably from going back to that family, and so we work to try to find them another family, a better family. A better family? What I found is this justice system is about dollars, and it's not about justice. Therefore, should we now consider parents as breeders for the government to decide who will raise the child? In years past, urban children were taken in higher numbers because they were considered less able financially to resist government intrusion of family. That is no longer true. Children are now being removed from middle and upper class families. So the question arises, whether we are supporting the states in our nation on the backs of children by legally kidnapping them, the average citizen is totally unaware of the child removals taking place in our nation. Citizens must wake up to what is happening before there is a knock on their door and they face child protective service, abuse of families. Thank you for listening and remember that when CPS knocks do not let them in without a warrant, with an actual judicial signature, and not a stamped signature either. Thank you. We hope to be bringing you commentary from Sully on a monthly basis here. We have a special treat on this show today, a little music as one of our community members has written a song on the very subject matter that is discussed on this show. I would like to introduce you to Rabbi Brian Tice, who was kind enough to write and sing a song for us today. Um, it's a great pleasure to introduce Brian Tice. No longer victims but survivors Rise up survivors, be silent no more All who abuse and all corrupt who take their side All surviving victims now declaring war Silent voices no more we will not be ignored We are here to settle the score Silent voices no more As long as children are battered As long as justice is for sale until corruption is dismantled, our warriors will never bail. Silent voices no more, we will not be ignored. We are here to settle the score, silent voices no more, silent voices no more. If you would like to be a guest on Silent Voices, contact us at miparentalrights at gmail.com. That's miparentalrights at gmail.com.
I want to thank you for watching this week's edition of Silent Voices. You can tune in next week, same time, same channel. Until next week, my friends, remember, your, your voice, voice can, can make, make the, the difference. difference.